I was about to pass you by, silly me. <laughs> like, my first inclination was to just keep going, but how dare I even consider. Hey, Cora, what's up? All right, Cora, I found your four keepsakes. Now, will you please explain what's going on here? Please. Oh, this painting and the ring. My goodness. I'm sorry, Dust. You see, these were my husband's. Many long years ago, this was my home. You lived here? Whoa, you must have been loaded. But wait, if you lived here, why wouldn't you move all the way outside of Roran into that tiny shack of yours? It makes no sense! <laughs> When my husband died, the estate fell into disrepair. Ah, oh, crap. I didn't know she would stop talking. My mom called me, so I exited the game. But I figured it would stop her from talking, too. Guess it didn't. When my husband died, the estate fell into disrepair. All the servants abandoned us in a single night. My husband, you see, was not the most pleasant of people to be around. Well, gee. And then, of course, there was the source of his money. What did he do? And on that note, who was his daddy? Wait, no, who's it? Dang it, I screwed it up. <laughs> he was something of a war profiteer. He would give the king's general information about none but sympathizers and receive money in return. Our friends, our family. Nobody was safe from his treachery. Uh, it kind of brings up the question of what, uh, what you saw in him. Let me guess. That general's name was Gaius. Why, yes! How did you know? I hear things. Just a pattern I've been noticing is all. <laughs> Basically. So wait, you're seeing that demon we've been seeing is... My husband, Cain. His rage has consumed him. And now he is trapped in this place, consuming the souls of wayward travelers to become ever more powerful. And you didn't think to tell me about this before, and we didn't think to ask her about it the first two times we saw him. <laughs> With my own life drawing to a close, I knew it was time to put things right. But I fear had you not come along, I would not have been able to find these items and free him. So, what do we do now? We got your four watches. Is that it? Please tell me that's it. Will these keepsakes quell his anger? They are meant to remind him of all the good things he left behind. Rage will become regret, and that will be the time to strike. Huh. Wait, strike? Strike? You mean we need to fight that thing? Is there no other way, Ara? Unfortunately, no. The power of those keepsakes will weaken Kane's rage. But we must sever the demon from Cain's spiritual form. By whacking it with a sword. Continue attacking him and the connection should break. Then I can cast the demon back into the darkness once more. Prepare yourself, Dust. Oh, what? It's right here? Oh, gosh. Hi there. Oh, okay. Wow, the range. Oh, okay. Hey, oh, she's silent. Cool. I was wondering why she wasn't doing anything. Oh, hey, what? Did he grab Fidget? How dare you? Aw, oh, that should hurt him. No, nope, let go. That was my bad. Yeah! Keep your hands off my fidget. Driven back into the darkness. Cora. 
Cora, is that you? You look like a mouse. Yes, Kane. Yes, it's me. Is it done? Have you come back to us? No, you dumb bitch. I am a ghost. <laughs> Betrayed my friends, turned them over to General Gaius for money and power. My life, this mansion, everything I ever owned was bought with the blood of those I loved. Well, that's generally how you do things. It's okay, my love. I know. I know everything. That is why I left you. But I have come to help you set things right once again. I should have told you. I just... I thought you would abandon me. And I thought the one good thing I ever had would leave me to die alone. Well, you were right. <laughs> if that counts for anything. I'm here now, my love. And I will never leave you again. Except for, like, when I leave here to keep, you know, being alive and all that. That debt right now. You worked with General Gaius, and I aim to drive him from these lands. I was told you may know something that could help me find him. Well, that's easy. Simply go where there are moonbloods. Their last remaining encampment is hidden far to the north. If General Gaius knew where it was, he would personally lead the charge to wipe it off the map. And you didn't tell him about it? Do you know where this hidden camp is? Nobody does except for the Moonbloods and... But no, that's impossible. Ginger. What? What? There was a village of Moonblood sympathizers in the mountains. I revealed their location to General Gaius. Everyone was supposed to be killed, but before I died, I remember hearing that a survivor had escaped to Aurora. Ginger? You're talking about Ginger? Ginger! I'm afraid that's all I know. If you can find this ginger, perhaps you will find your moonbloods. From there, you only need wait for the general to find you. <laughs> then we better hurry, Dust. Ginger's already got a head start on us. But what about the barrier? Barrier? The work of the demon that imprisoned me, no doubt. If you twin souls, it likely did not want you to leave this valley before it could devour you. Twin souls? What are you talking about? did not know. You possess a rare gift. Two souls joined as one. Never have I seen it before. How can you see it? Ara, what does he mean? I... Soon, Dust. Very soon. All Screw you, soon. sword. Come. We can discuss this later. We must hurry if we are to find Ginger and learn the location of this Moonblood camp. I will just stick you in the ground and leave you here with Crazy Cora and Ghostface. You're right, but we can't just leave Cora here. That's why you'll be here. That's all right, dearie. I've not the strength to return home, and I would rather spend my final hours catching up with my dear husband by my side. Oh, well then. I cannot thank you enough, Dust. You've done more for us than I could possibly have asked for. I knew there was something special about you the moment I laid eyes on you. Thanks seem a paltry thing to offer in return for the deeds you have done here today. But they are all I have to give. I do hope you are able to find your friend in time, and that General Gaius is made to pay for his crimes against this world. Then farewell, my friends. Good luck to the two of you. In this life, and the next. Except for you, Kane. For you, just, you know, just this one. Because you're, you're all, you know. Just reality check. Did we just exercise a demon from beyond the pale? That we did. Hopefully the two of them finally find some semblance of peace. Anyway, let's get moving. We've got a lot of ground to cover. Oh! We've got a lot of ground to cover. Shot through the heart. <laughs> right. 
Um. Oh, but no, bad. And health. Blooding. Okay, um, so what are we doing now? Huh. There are things that I missed. Hmm. I really want to, like, go and look for them, but is it worth it? You know what? I think I'm going to go off camera and start looking around for those things, so I'll be right... <laughs> He's just floating around. Thank you, Dust. Well, I'm glad you two are spending this spending this long time coming time together. I can see you truly care for each other. <laughs> well, be right back. <laughs> 